Hello, I'm Dr. Thais Coutinho. I'm a cardiologist and a clinician scientist, the chief of the Division of Cardiac Prevention and Rehabilitation, and the chair of the Canadian Women's Heart Health Center at the University of Ottawa Heart Institute. Today we'll be discussing a paper that I published with my colleagues, Dr. Olambimpi Lamai here from the University of Ottawa Heart Institute, as well as Dr. Karen Nirenberg from the University of Calgary. We performed a review of the recent literature that analyzed the associations of hypertensive disorders of pregnancy, such as high blood pressure during pregnancy, preeclampsia or eclampsia, and the associations of these conditions with future cardiovascular risk. This was published in the journal Current Treatment Options in Cardiovascular Medicine. What we found is that women that have had one of these conditions, high blood pressure during pregnancy or preeclampsia, for example, actually had significantly higher risk of cardiovascular disease down the road. For example, the risk of having high blood pressure chronically was about fourfold higher for these women. The risk of heart failure also quadrupled uh, in this uh, group of women. The risk of having a heart attack, for example, was increased by about two and a half fold, and the risk of having a stroke increased by 80%. As a result, women with these conditions had about a two and a half increase in their risk of dying from a cardiovascular cause over many years after their affected pregnancy. So the message from this review paper is that the hypertensive disorders of pregnancy, such as high blood pressure during pregnancy or preeclampsia, are to be considered important cardiovascular risk factors for women. We should work with these women to help them understand their risk and act upon it, help them really achieve a healthy cardiovascular lifestyle and really manage the cardiovascular risk factor in hopes to prevent cardiovascular disease years after.